I get it. You want spark and chemistry. And really, if you look, what you really want is the connection, that experience of connection that comes with spark and chemistry, right? So whether you are looking for love or you are in a marriage where that spark and chemistry seems to be gone, be sure to watch this video right to the end. All right, so clients come to me all the time wanting that connection, that spark in their relationships, whether it's they're seeking a relationship with someone that they wanna have spark and chemistry with, or maybe they're, they've been in a relationship or a marriage for a really long time and they're like, where did it go? It was there, but it's gone, right? So, you know, there's definitely a, a whole approach to this and, and, and a journey to this. But the first thing that we do, no matter what, is we actually look inward. We look inside of ourselves. And while that may not be where our mind wants to go, our mind wants to go, yeah, but that person did this. Yeah, but that person isn't bringing that. And yeah, but, and there was gonna be something to that for sure, right? If you're on a first date with someone, you know, they may not have the capacity to create connection or spark with you, but they might. And if you've been in a marriage for a long time, you know that at some point there was that, that spark, that connection, that chemistry, right? But it's not there now. So we know that it's not just that other person. We know that something's possible here, but why isn't it happening? And the way I take people through this journey of love is I say, you know what? The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we're not getting in, in our own way, right? That we're not the ones standing, standing in the way of the deep connected relationships that we truly desire. So what can we do about it? Step one, we look inward, right? We look inward and we say, okay, how am I feeling? How am I showing up? How am I showing up in life? How am I showing up for myself? How am I showing up for this other person? You know, often when we look at, if I look, if I look, if I'm really honest, and I look at the nights where I'm like, passion's really missing in my relationship. <laughs> Like, okay, well, you know, I finished work and I slapped my butt on the couch. Like, what am I bringing to the table here, really, right? And a lot of the times it's like we wanna feel something before we make a change, but the two have to happen hand in hand. We make the change that allows us to feel something a little different too. And the same is true when you're going on those first dates, right? There's work that we need to do inside of ourselves before we even show up for the date. So I just wanna give you a few little tips on how to do that, okay? You know, one of my, one of my favorite mindset tips that I give clients, and they love it, and it makes such a difference every time, I'm gonna give this to you right now in like a little la like laser mini quick, quick, quick way that we can create this in such a short video. But we call it being in vacation mode. And think about it, right? Like how are you when you're on vacation? When you go on vacation, you probably meet people pretty easily. Life is just a little, it's like we're not bringing anything with us. Life is good, we feel good, there's no care in the world. We're just like, like, why not strike up a conversation? You don't really, you're not worried about where this is gonna go, where this is not gonna go. You're just having conversations, you're making connections. And it is so common for people on vacations, although many of us have not been able to go on a vacation for a while because of the state of the world right now, but we can remember, we can remember what it was like to be on vacation, right? We are not worried about it and it's just kind of like, it's just easy, easy to make connections, easy to feel things. And many of us have even had some pretty awesome love affairs while on vacation, okay? If you haven't, don't worry about it. You can just sort of get get into the idea of it, okay? So bringing vacation mode, which is a part of us because we've been on vacations, we know what that's like to not have a care in the world and to just be somewhere for the pure enjoyment of the experience. We bring that to our relationship. We bring that to a first, second, third, 10th date. Whew, a whole lot can change just from that one little nugget, okay? So this is what I want you to try. I want you to actually test it out. See if even you can just even start by doing this in the comfort of your own home, even by yourself. What would I, what would I feel like right now if I was on vacation? What would, what would I be thinking about? What would my experience be? What would my demeanor be? How, like, how would I be talking? 
and try it out. Try it out right now and then bring it. Bring it to a date. Bring it to, even if it's a Zoom date, bring it to a Zoom date, okay? Bring it to your marriage after dinner tonight when you're both kind of full, <laughs> you know? It doesn't have to mean that you're, you know, you're ready to run laps around the block. You can be in vacation mode and totally soak in the moment and experience it with your partner. So this is, this is step one and there's more to come on this topic, absolutely. Step one, all right, is feeling good within yourself and one tip of many that I have for you is vacation mode. Try it out. You're going to love it. Tell me in the comments once you tried it. Come back and, and tell me how it is, all right? And then in the meantime, if you want to take this kind of work further, if your relationships are really important to you, you want to have a certain kind of experience inside yourself, whether with it's the love of your future or the love of your life right now, feel free to reach out to me. You can check out my website at michellebaxo.com. You can find me on Facebook. You can join our Facebook group, which is for empowered women wanting to work on themselves and their relationships. All the details of that are in the comments, but I just, you know, want to make sure that you are taking steps in your life to have the experience of yourself and to have the experience of your relationships that you truly desire. No matter what's going on in the world, life's short right? Life's short. We can't keep saying later, later, later when things get better, when things get easier. We want to be gracious with ourselves, forgiving for, for that things are hard right now and that we haven't been showing up as our best, most wonderful selves. It's so okay. But I also want you to know that there's some things that you can do about it, okay? So reach out if you need anything. In the meantime, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Click like, comment below, hit subscribe, share it with your, 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 the women in your life that you love so much, and we will see you soon.